Hey guys, Tech Timmy here. So in this video, I am going to be unboxing this interesting looking and slightly smaller than expected buck zapper from a company called Staffy. S-T-A-F-I. Let's do it. Okay, so here we have this little bug zapper. I remember bug zappers being way bigger when I was a kid, so I think that that's what I was expecting to see, maybe even like yay bigger or yay bigger, just bigger than this. But based on the reviews online, it seems to be pretty effective at killing bugs. I, this is my summer for getting rid of nuisance pests both inside and outside the house. I noticed I'm getting some, I guess they're like fruit flies and little gnats and things in the apartment here. So I bought a separate device called the Catchy and it has some videos on my channel. I did an unboxing and I just, I did a, a video the other day of me changing, swapping out the pad and the Catchy caught a whole bunch of stuff inside. So I said, you know what? It's time to get a bug zapper for the outside as well. So not a lot of branding here on the box. In fact, there's not even, there's not a company logo or anything. I don't really see the name Staffy here on the box or anywhere other than on the Amazon description. But, you know, basically, so decent package. And this one did not arrive smashed up like many of my other boxes that have come in lately. So that's nice. But so just a little bit of, and the instructions are a little, I think maybe written by someone whose English is not the first language. So we just kind of have to bear with us a little bit. So how to operate, press the mode control button, activate pest flies, mosquito mode for the induced light source. Press again, activate the LED mode. First press to activate LED light mode for brightness control. So all that said, this emits different types of light. So I think there's a blue light and a white light. The blue light is really the bug catching mode. And the white light, I think they're basically trying to sell this as a camping light slash bug zapper. I'm, I'm really only interested in the bug zapper. I have all kinds of other smart lights that I use for both inside and outside. And then we have, you know, sort of some technical specs here. I will not bore you with any of that. And then basically these warnings are, are kind of interesting. So <laughs> when cats control mosquitoes in the bedroom, so this, my understanding is will catch more than mosquitoes. It'll catch all manner of bugs that are attracted to blue light. Please close the doors and windows. <laughs> Keep indoor light off and activate the blue light. Okay, so I'm gonna use this for outdoors as I think most people probably will, but you can also use it as an indoor device, I guess. Do not place the lamp where children can reach it, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm guessing that, the, that, that this is something that you probably do want to keep away from your kids. Although low voltage, I believe. So uh, yeah, you know, solid warning there. Clean up any dead pests on the power grid. So I noticed a few others on Amazon had complained that it's a little bit difficult to clean this thing. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Once we, once we get out of the box and see what it looks like. Long, long period operate will generate occasional electrical spark. So avoid unit placement dust area, I, I don't know. And then rechargeable battery is not for use for a long time. Sure, we're charged within every six months. So six months to me for chargeable battery is excellent battery life. So yeah, so you know, interesting little box here. And let's just let's just take this out of the box without further ado and get a look at it in terms of the size of the thing. And then you can see, and you can use my hand as sort of a gauge. Oh, we have documentation falling all over the place here. You can use oh, and so there's the Staffy. There you go. S T E S T A F I. So there's there's the branding. So they did they do have a little bit of branding there. And then, so we do have some, you know, basic documentation. This basically just describes the different indicators and so forth of the device. So there's, this is the hanging strip, obviously. The glow light strip, the beads light panel, okay. Power on off switch, auto activation switch. Yeah, so, you know, a nice little guide. I don't know why they didn't make the, that, that font size a little bit bigger. You guys, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know what a stickler am for documentation. This basically just repeats what's here and a little bit larger, so that's good. Beads light panel, I guess that would be, oh, what, what is go, whoa, guys, look at this. Oh, there's already bugs in there. Uh, is that, I don't know, so that's, I can't, oh my God, there's a giant one down the bottom too, look at that thing. Oh, so that can't be for aesthetic effect, particularly with there's another bug down there, so. <laughs> that's a little bit of a surprise okay so i'm guessing this was a return that had to have been it looks like somebody already got in here as well so and interestingly the box did not have any tape on it on the top let's see so the only other thing in here is so we have our 
Charging cord. <laughs> it comes, comes, comes with a couple of free bugs, I guess. Okay. So no charge for the bugs. <laughs> now I'm wondering if I should just send it back and get another one, but we'll see. And then I wonder if somebody actually charged it up. Maybe, maybe the thing will actually turn on. We'll try that next. And then this is the cleaning brush. I'm going to have to clean it already, I guess. I don't know if these doors open or what here to clean it, but yeah, just very interesting. So moment of truth. Let's see if somebody had actually charged this. Oh, there's another giant bug right there. See if we can get it with the cleaning brush. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess that will, will, after a few tries, yep, yeah, it falls down the bottom there. Okay, I see. So yeah, so we're getting the full experience here today. I thought this was just going to be an unboxing. So let's try and turn it on. Ah, so it, it, it is, so it's charged. Again, I think somebody probably returned this based on the fact that there are already bugs in the air. You know, 99% sure on that. So on off, it basically toggles the, the the light color. So we have, so that's, I was gonna say turn, turn toggles the power, but so now we see white light and then a brighter white. Okay, so there's the camping, quote unquote camping light feature there. And then the blue is, I'm 90% sure this is the color you want to, to use to catch bugs. So that's what's gonna attract the bugs in here. And then auto mode, I believe is in daylight, which I have right now, it, you know, the, 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 I'm, I'm getting natural light in here from my windows. This will, if you, if you have it on auto mode, then that little indicator flashes there and it will automatically turn on at night. So if you have it, you know, outside in the bedroom, what have you, I don't think this is waterproof. I would not leave it outside in the rain, but it's small enough and portable enough where you can actually bring it, bring it in. Oh, <laughs> little bugs are falling around in the bottom here. So I, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is definitely a surprise to me that there's actually already bugs in here. So very weird and kind of interesting, but I do like the size of it. I'll do a separate video, like a review video, maybe three months or something. And I'll cover, you know, how well it works outside and so forth. But you know, interestingly, I think I'm just going to keep it because there's so few little bugs in there and it looks like it's definitely working. So there is, you know, I think that's, that's the proof right there. And so, yeah, so if you're interested in buying this, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's actually an Amazon affiliate link. And if you use it, all proceeds go to benefit the channel. I get a small commission if you do use the link. So that's that. And then, yeah, so for now, just an unboxing video. I'll do an update video soon. Actually, maybe even a three week update. So we'll get this outside on my patio here at night going, and then I'll do an update in a few weeks. But <laughs> I just think it's so funny that it, can, it comes with it comes with some bugs. <laughs> anyway, if you got any value from this video, if you wouldn't mind, just give me a quick thumbs up. Helps out the channel a lot. Appreciate it. And hope to see you in the next video. So a buggy tech Timmy <laughs> signing off for now. Yeah. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.